My name is Sam Bohor, uh, talking about hope. Hope for Palestinians is not a luxury, nor is it an option. For us to be able to sustain life, we have to really be focused on a future that's better than today. And we are committed to remaining hopeful that not only will our people remain focused on hopefully non-violence, but also the international community will become more engaged and to see that for Palestinians to be hopeful and for reality to be reflected with an end of this occupation, they need to get more involved as well. So that's why I was speaking about hope uh, in terms of what church can do, what the church community can do, uh, and it's, uh, it's absolutely a must for Palestinians to maintain uh, a hopeful view on the future. Uh, because without hope, the Israelis will push us into violence. And that's what the challenge we have in front of us. The option we have is to remain hopeful, engage in nonviolence, aiming to end this occupation for a Palestinian state to emerge, or to accept the Israeli pressures upon us, lose hope, and for many people they will either turn to violence or leave Palestine. And both of those will create a worse situation than today. If people leave Palestine, those that, will re those that will remain behind will be those that have nothing to lose. And if people turn to violence, we already saw that we are the losing party when violence breaks out. 